Well, tonight we're learning more about what led up to the fatal shooting of Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso as his accused killer is officially charged. WGN's Julian Cruz is live at the 8th District Police Station where Vasquez worked with more. With Jen and Ray, the 18-year-old suspect Stephen Montano shot in the mouth by the mortally wounded Chicago police officer Andres Vasquez Lasso, who suffered three bullet wounds allegedly inflicted by Montano at close range. And to make matters worse, this deadly encounter happening on a southwest side schoolyard. There were civilians, including multiple children, on that playground who took cover under a slide. Assistant Cook County State's Attorney Ann McCord describing the chaotic scene adults and children with little time to react at Sawyer Elementary Wednesday about 4.45 in the afternoon. Fortunately, no injuries reported by Chicago Public Schools. But the city suffering a terrible loss as the body of Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso was transported from the medical examiner to the funeral home. The victim exited the squad car and gave chase to the defendant on foot. Cook County prosecutors describing how Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso pursued accused gunman Stephen Montano Wednesday evening. The victim gave multiple verbal commands for the defendant to stop running. The deadly confrontation happening near 52nd and Spalding Avenue in Chicago's Gage Park community. Once the victim was only a few feet away from the defendant, the defendant looked back over his shoulder in the victim's direction and immediately turned towards the victim while racking the slide on his pistol. The 45 caliber pistol later recovered at the scene, investigators say, but not before Montano allegedly used it to shoot the 32-year-old Lasso, who managed to return fire. The victim was able to get off two shots, and the defendant was struck in the mouth area. But even then, the critically wounded Montano, according to responding officers, trying to get away. The defendant stood up, refused to comply with commands, and tried to walk away from the police despite being shot in the face. Officers using a stun gun to subdue Montano, taking him into custody before prosecutors say he was rushed to Stroger Hospital. At last report, the 18-year-old remaining in the intensive care unit. This deadly encounter happening as a result of a domestic dispute. Montano's 37-year-old girlfriend, according to prosecutors, fearing for her life and calling 911. At the 8th Police District, Julian Cruz, WGN News. And Julian, we now have details about the visitation and funeral for the officer. Visitation will take place Wednesday, March 8th from 3 until 8 p.m. at Blake Lamb Funeral Home in Oak Lawn. A massive Christian burial will begin Thursday at 10 in the morning at St. Rita of Casha Shrine Chapel. We'll have this information posted on our website, WGNTV.com.